better. It looks much better. It looks more organic, doesn't it? It's just easy, it's easier to see the painting and what you're doing. And, and from the Reggie's camera, particularly, that's good for the close up. So that's really, really good. Oh, that's cool. Because I wasn't but sure. If you've got both, isn't it? you've got one that's close as you can see what you're doing. And then the. the... Yeah. Oh, gas gone. Um, well, hi. Good evening, everyone. Um, welcome to Come Paint With Me. Uh, so I've got um, one guest at the moment and hopefully um, another one who will join us again in a minute. Um, my lovely friend, Joy. Joy, give us a wave. Anyway, um, yes. So tonight we're going to do um, a bit of collage. Hi, Joy. Uh, we're going to do a bit and Garth is joining us again. Garth, give us a wave. Um, so uh, tonight we're going to be doing a, a bit of collage. Uh, I have been to, bear with me a second, what's it called? I had a hat. So I don't know if you can, how to do this, you can see. In here there are leaves. So we've got leaves, we've got some orange peel, and we've got some dried paint. And we just watched a, uh, a video with, um, uh, with about paper paper collaging, which we will try and do uh, one week, and then we'll we'll add some paint to that as well because that's a lot of fun. Um, but this week we're gonna go back to for me is the basics of kind of where I started twenty years ago. I started with um, recycled objects, um, and I started with orange peel. I uh, did like a painting with orange peel, which I think I sold actually when I was in Argentina. Um, and leaves, leaves are always great. It's autumn time. So uh, let's do some leaves. And I found some glue, which is great because last, the other night, I was trying to do this with um, Brit stick. And that didn't work very well. Um, okay, I just had an idea. I can put this back a bit. Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, you can still see that. So I slanted it a little bit so that things don't fall off. Right, so here we go. Um, let's see, what should we start with? We'll start with some, a leaf. I was going to, um, I was going to have some background music on, but we're, we're actually live. So, um, hey, so if you're here, please uh, send us a message, um, tell us, uh, what you like about art, what even what you like about art antics. I can't see the messages. Just bear me a second. No, it's just telling me people's names. Oh well, never mind. Um, yeah, so uh, maybe my admin person, Reggie, can uh, send you uh, a message back. If you want to be on the Zoom call tonight with us, actually doing some art, then um, you can um it's in in the uh on the page actually wherever you look whether it's on my personal page it's on my personal page it's on art antics page it's on uh, art antics champions it's it's everywhere so um you'll be able to find the zoom link no problem I've had quite a few people said that they will join us next week um some people i didn't get the message out quite early enough so uh but yes, um, and I've been going live every every night this week, which I will continue to do. Um, I've also launched something called um, Creative Appointments. Uh, so come paint with me um, appointments where we can have a bit of a, what's called like a creative appointment where we can get you going. We can have a, have a chat about stuff. Um, and that would be, that would be grand. If my two guests want to speak or want to share anything, then uh, feel free. This doesn't have to be the Angela show. Um, but as both of you know, as you are my good friends, you are both aware that I am able to speak broccoli for an hour. Um, so, which funnily enough, Reggie is actually cutting broccoli tonight for our dinner. Um, but yes, I can easily speak broccoli, uh, which I will continue to do so. However, I put in the um, group 
that I would share a little bit of my um, creative childhood journey uh, tonight. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to share, but but basically I've been writing a, uh, you see what I'm doing? I'm basically covering up this lady's face with, uh, with leaves. Uh, the original, uh, I paint, basically I did a painting. Oh, okay. Uh, I went, you have to tell us what art books you're looking at, Garth, in a sec. Um, I did a painting for, for a good friend of, well, mine and Garth's, and um, I did it, and I thought, no, that's not good enough. <laughs> I can do better than that. So basically, I started all over again. I mean, I'm sure Joy has many times, Joy's an artist, um, check out Joy Chapman Art UK. She's a very, very, very good artist. Um, I don't know if she's just launched a new product and yeah, she's very good. Anyway, um, <laughs> it's very true. Um, uh, anyway, what was I saying? I think my broccoli has um, halted for a second. Uh, yes, I'm sure Joy many times has kind of like got started again and gone, oh no, I need to do something different and start it again. Might be wrong, but I'm, I think every artist is like, realized yeah. that this isn't quite working and I need to start again. Um, so for, for a commissioning that I'm saying that, I'm gonna put that a different way. There we go, that's better. Um, for a commissioning, uh, I just decided this, this was not good enough and I needed to start again. So that's what I did. Um, and so this is why the thing about collage is it can be an absolute mess. <laughs> and uh, that's what's happening here. Uh, we have an absolute mess. Are you creating a background or what are you, what are you actually doing right now? So you're yeah, a kind of. But what, what is, what is, what yeah. is your aim to do? What are you doing? Yeah, so not entirely sure, Joy. This is, this is a thing on these things. I don't always know what I'm doing, but that's a good point. Um, so yeah, so I've, I've, I've decided to do the kind of leaves and then some of the, maybe the paint on top and I don't know whether, um, la 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 la, I'm going to get very gluey here because I've got glue on both sides of the leaf. Accident. What's that? Sorry, Joy. I'm getting messy myself anyway, so don't worry. Yeah, it's the occupational hazard, isn't it? Yeah. an artist um so okay so uh, uh, besides talking broccoli um i had broccoli as well tonight just in the broccoli thing but anyway did you really on. yeah for dinner <laughs> well i was using up some veggies in in the fridge before i go shopping tomorrow so just Were a you... nice sort of vegetable stew nice yes anyway um i mean yeah food. We, we have been very blessed to be having all these donations recently landed in our house and um, there's been a, there is an abundance of broccoli. The general public don't like broccoli, it would seem. It's um, got a bit of a um, reputation like sprouts and I think if people kind of get scared of it because it's green and you know what I mean, they yeah. might have one green thing and then it's sort of... Um, another thing for you know what I mean so yes yeah, it's, it's it's true but it's 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 so good for you number one and I think it tastes so good but uh anyway there we go you know leaves don't behave themselves <laughs> they're all like um thinking off so, so what kind of thing are you doing then so I'm doing I'm thinking I want to do a leaf layer but I might actually do some orange peel in between and if I do this one here this is not going to work we're going to have a go. I just had an idea about putting some, about sticking it all on and then putting clean film over it to kind of like make it kind of like push it down and then putting a second layer on, maybe. I don't know. How did you do it before? What was your technique before that you used to do? Don't know if I had one. And it's about <laughs> eight, 18 years ago. Viewers here, you know. Yeah, I know. So here's here's the thing about the these sessions that maybe they should be teaching, but they're not really teaching. They're more kind of like us playing together. 
which is fine. I wanted to know anyway, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, how did I do it before? Similar to what I'm doing, probably. And uh, I used to do, um, I used to use a lot of cardboard. Right. Which was a huge mistake um, because cardboard would need framing. Right. Uh, and, then, and then I spent 300, I was saying to, well, I was saying on the live last night, uh, that, um, uh, yeah, that I spent about £300 on frames at Ikea, uh, framing all the paintings that I've done. And, and actually, because of that, they're super bulky to store. Um, yeah. Whereas now, I just straight onto canvas. Um, I don't even try to... Uh, to do it. I did think about doing it on cardboard, but but if you want to frame it afterwards, it's just a nightmare to uh, to try and frame. So just, uh, just just going with what you want, isn't it? Depending what you want to achieve and the look you're going for and, and the hassle you're prepared to do with it or not, and what's worth yeah. it. Maybe one day again when I've got the resources, I'll um I'll like, but. I, I think at that point I hadn't discovered canvases. Got when I dis when I discovered canvases, it really did change everything. Um, you no, know and also I'm realizing wet leaves are better than. Although these leaves look really cool, the wet leaves stick better. They're not as crumpled up. Yeah. Makes and I also sense. need some more blue. Um, so, so yes, yeah, so basically I'm doing a background that will be a leaf background and then we'll put some orange peel on top of the, the background and we'll see where we get to. Cool. Like these sort of things do not show my prowess at being an artist. They just like... Well, it's part of a process, is it not? Exactly. Mm. This is... Total experimentation. But uh, what, am I not right in saying that as your friend as well and a fellow artist that we all have different ways we work and you work a lot through process, quite I a do. lot of the time. Not all the time when you've got a concept that you're trying to paint, but from what you've shown me before, it, it's there's a process going on there, isn't there? So we all work oh, yeah. in different ways, don't we? If you do being creative, everyone has a different experience so it's very true and I think that's something that I've been reminded of this week the importance of the process the importance of play I mean these sessions are all about playing that's literally what they're all about um playing is good <laughs> playing is you know good, what yeah. I love about collage is when you pull them things out of magazines I always love them yeah, that's what we, we're going to have a go at that, Garth, one week. You know, did you see the video of the Dutch lady? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a go at that one week. Okay. Um, maybe even next, but I have a feeling, oh, I have a feeling this is not going to, I'm not going to finish this tonight, but I might finish it in a week. But, um, I'm just going to sort my brushes out a second. Okay. Just oh, brush surgery. <laughs> One sec. Brush surgery? Yes. Okay. You have to tell us in a minute what that means. Sorry I'm, if I'm not talking. I'm quiet on the street waiting to go choir practice. Are we going to choir practice? Wow, you get yeah. out and about, aren't you, Gaff? Yeah. Which choir is that? I'm with a all male choir called Chorus of Others. Oh, wow. Very exciting. I uh, I really miss choir actually. Probably should find one around here. Oh. Yeah. Well, I wasn't gonna go, but everyone keeps on saying we need you. Your bass voice, I thought. You know what? Let's go. Oh. Good on you. Sure, that'd be fun. I know, but I'd rather go home. Well, I mean, you know, 
energy levels and all that. Think about what you can. Talk yeah, about. I get, I get you. I'm just tired because, of course, that's what it is. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna go. Okay. That was it. <laughs> How joy. Uh, as he, I don't know, is Garth with us still? So yeah, really weird. yeah. It's like there's a delay. So I've got one screen and it basically, it doesn't, yeah, anyway, never mind. <laughs> Sorry. So, all right. Well, so tell us, Joy, what is um, paintbrush surgery? That's just my um, quirky humour with it. I'm just trying to rescue the little paintbrushes that got a little bit too stiff and perhaps didn't wash out properly. And I'm trying to rescue them by using proper cleaner, brush cleaner, and then um, putting that through, loosening up and see if I can rescue some that it's, I thought were okay, but it looks like I hadn't washed them out properly, which was bad of me. So I'm just trying to sort it out. So. <laughs> Yeah. We've all done that. Just using a proper like brush cleaner for the thing, which I didn't sort of now you can get it wrong and not wash it out properly or something, and so you're like, okay, well that that needs switching out just a bit of, bit of tender loving care if that makes sense. So did you say that like there's a scar treatment or whatever? Pardon? Did you say there's an actual brush cleaner, like something you can yeah, yeah, yeah. to recover them? Really? Yeah, there you go. Ah, wow. I always learn something new. Whenever I'm on a call to Joy, even if it's on a live with everybody so together. This is like a sort of soap thing. Proper okay. brush you get um, You can get them in different sizes. They were like, every art shop I could find was like, it was out, completely out during the pandemic. They were sold out in everywhere. Because <laughs> everybody um, was painting and doing art. <laughs> Yeah, probably, you know, um, in the pandemic. But uh, then somebody had some that they weren't using and gave it to me, so a friend. So I might be able to use this one um, and just try and look after my brushes better. Because as an artist, something we need to do. Um, sometimes you get it wrong and you just have to learn from the experience. So, yeah, absolutely. It's just sort of getting all the getting any residue of like paint off a little bit, and um, so that the brush brush kind of functions properly. But anyway, so carry on with your leaves because I'm intrigued how it's going. So uh, well, well it's, um, the background is it's incredible, isn't it? How long backgrounds can take. I um there's this the blue tip thing I think you saw me do last night. And I thought, yeah. oh, I will have finished. And then I just put some yellow on. I was like, oh, I didn't mean to do that. And then, and then I was like, actually, I quite like that. So let's just do that everywhere. And now it looks a lot better than it did before. It was really dark before. And then I can see even now, I can see the other part, the, the canvas is still not finished. And then I still haven't finished the blue tip. Oh, this person will get their painting by Christmas, I'm sure. Okay. You might want to do this when I next see you. Is what? Dry paint. I can give you that. <laughs> really? Yeah, it's you. It? My palette. Yeah. I was just cleaning it up the other you day. You don't use it? No. no. Really? No, it's fine though. I mean, it's your thing and I do other things, don't I? So that's totally fine. So, I mean. I like that. I get the gift of like, so I don't, because literally, where is it? There's a little gash next to my finger where I was like, Reggie sat next to me and he's going, stop it, stop, stop doing that. And I'm like, my friend Dave uses a Stanley knife. Be glad that I've not got a Stanley knife because I'd be in the hospital by now. Um, yeah, so I was using, where is it now? I was using this blunt knife. So thankfully, because I used a blunt knife, I, uh, I didn't get any on. Uh, it, it did hit my finger, but uh, it didn't go through the skin. So. <laughs> You just have to be careful, don't you? <laughs> like, uh, you saying so. Um, oh. Do you know what I realised? Uh, I realised that don't leave paint on for six months or longer. Here's my palette. I reckon, I need to move this down because I can't even see what I'm showing. Is that acrylic? This is acrylic, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. <laughs> look, there's like two years of paint on here. 
So that's the issue. Um, I reckon you can leave it tops a month because what it really should be like, it should be kind of like gooey and kind of like rubbery. And this is more like cement. Well, why do, you could actually get like, you know, sometimes with pallets, I use things like a, a roasting tray or, or um, something like a sort of, I don't know, bun tray with little wells that you can put paint in and get like that from the pound shop or whatever. That's quite a useful thing. So that, you, you know, if it ruins it, you've only got like, like a pound that you've wasted. <laughs> oh yeah, these were, this wasn't very expensive, but I actually, you're right. I do need another pound. Oh, just tipped paint everywhere. <laughs> Um, not, like, not, paint. not 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 like proper paint as in dried paint these leaves do not stick as i want them to stick but i guess if it no that's not working uh and this is probably not the best glue so i'm going to get some more glue i don't like pvc glue but uh it's the only thing that will work with this are you do you use it as a glaze at all in the collages at any point um big half I think I have in the past, and I think I will in the future. Um, what I would use, what I would probably, you know, I've not done one with leaves before, probably for this reason. <laughs> oh no, where's that working? Yeah, that camera's gone off. Just now it's on again now. Yes, yeah, because something came up on my screen saying saying that it wasn't charging. Yeah. Well, I was going to tell you. Don't worry. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so um, this one here. So I would need some better PVC glue. I, I used to get feel very sick from the smell of it. That's why I don't really use it that much. But obviously, when you're doing stuff like this, you need it. Um, so, so anyway, so Joy, shall I tell you a bit of my? I said on Instagram or whatever that I was going to tell the story of my creativity yeah. when I was a child. So you I feel like I should play a little bit. Uh, you're um, your your gay can you do it? Yeah. Is Garf, you... is Garf gone? I'm still here. Oh, okay. Uh, of course, I was going to talk say... about the book while I was looking at the live because it was interesting, but you tell your story. That no, I'll no, no, go on. Tell us about your book. Tell us about your book. My story's well, long. <laughs> As I told you, uh, eight years ago, the art what I used to make was um, placemats out of cardboard, so I was trying to get a book to refresh my memory, and I was oh, just wow. looking through there. Wow. So I was looking, I think to myself, wow, I've not done it for ages. It's so easy. I didn't know all you needed was PVA glue. And what is it? Cardboard and a stapler. Wow. Well, Garth, you can do a session one week and you can show us all how to do it. How does that sound? I will do. But when I, I thought you had to use, I, I thought you had, you could just use like print stick and then the book says, use some PVA glue and that's how you stick it together. Yeah. yeah it's but I didn't know. Thing, I think. It's Go a better glue for that, I think, because thick is better. I mean, on cardboard, it's not so absorbed, you know, it doesn't seem to kind of... Uh, yeah. The same kind of thing to keep it together, really, as it would do with paper. It, it yeah. needs a bit more kind of welly, to speak. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> from, uh, from glue. <laughs> like, I don't know how to say it properly. Uh, robust. That's much better. Robust. Stickability. Yeah, don't oh, is it PVA glue, glue the thing what makes cardboard shine, or what's the kind of glue? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's PVA glue that makes it shine. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Wow. PVA glue. So I think I'm going to start what next week buy some cardboard, start making some. Matt's preparing for Christmas and oh, hopefully nice. use them. Nice, yeah. Once you've done some, show come on and show us how to do them and we'll we'll do them with you. Yeah. That's one of our sessions. Um I guess, yeah, so even PBA glue, you need that 
with decent PVA glue because this is not sticking as much as I want it to. I think I need a brush and I need just to dip the brush in. But the problem is once you've used the brush with PVA glue, your brush is dead forever. Unless Joy has um, the, the thing that you've got, Joy, does it work with PVA glue? I haven't tried it, but it may do. I think it's just washing it out straight away with warm water or so. Or one of these really cheapo craft brushes, and yeah, I don't know if I can find a cheaper brush. Like a cheapo, like a cheapo fun thing here, like with the kiddies and getting like. Really, they're kind of cheap and yeah. Yeah, have I got one of them? Probably got one somewhere, but probably now it's not. I would never oh, and here's a brush. Here's a brush I did not wash out last night. Were you aware at the time, answer that because she said yesterday you had an appointment at, at, at seven o'clock. I think it's going to end at half six. I was just letting you know because it's 25 past six. Yeah, I don't have an appointment at half six tonight. I have maybe so one at seven, but I think you had a meeting like... at seven o'clock. You what? You said yesterday you had a meeting at seven o'clock unless you changed the time uh, for your meeting. Yeah, well, I didn't actually reply to them. So the, the chances of it actually be me actually being on it is slim. Okay. This is when you use your husband as uh, your husband looks at the emails more than you do. And you think, oh, there's nothing to be done. And then you look at it yourself, but it's too late. <laughs> so tell us about your story that you said that you yeah, wanted to sorry. So yeah, so basically I am writing an essay for a course that I'm doing and in the essay I'm basically, I'm writing about this process about what I'm doing with Come Paint With Me and I just started to uh, write kind of like my creative process for when I was a kid um, mm -hmm. and why, how this fits into, um, basically it's about the whole um, like mental health thing because I've always thought um, I've never really struggled with my, with my mental health. And then this morning I realized that wasn't, wasn't entirely true. Uh, so although it's all, it's very, it's very, um, it's a huge subject, isn't it? And it's very like subjective. So basically i um, been doing like, I, I said this before, I've been doing like painting stuff and like art creative stuff since I was coming out of the womb, since I was like three, my earliest memory uh, is of uh playing with these bits of cut up card and sticking them down on another piece of card with paint. Um, and then my oh. next, my next memory is, uh, is actually a bit sad. And I didn't even realize this morning until this morning, kind of how sad it was. So um, when I was, at, and I think I've shared this before, but when I was at junior school, when I went to junior school, which I didn't go very often, um, I, uh, I had no, <laughs> this is going to sound like, get your violins out, this is going to be a, a bit like, but anyway, um, I didn't have any, because I didn't go to school much, and because uh, personal hygiene was not high on my family's agenda, uh, yeah. I was a little smelly urchin when oh, I didn't right. go to school, um, and as a result, I had no friends. And oh. <laughs> right. Um, and my only friend was my sketchbook. Oh. So I would sit on the um, on the wall at uh, breaks. This is in junior school, not in high school. In junior school, uh, and I would draw, and I would draw birds, um, and I would draw all sorts of things, um, probably from my head, really. Um, and that's kind of like how I spent my playtimes. And there's, there's one particular one I remember, but majority of the time, that's what I would do. Yeah. Um, occasionally, people would feel a bit sorry for me and invite me into what was going on. But, but as a rule, I didn't really have that many friends at, at school. Um, and then at home, um, and, and then, so I didn't go to school very much through junior school. But when, I'm, when I was at home, I would always be doing creative stuff, like arty stuff. So I remember like one of the things that I did was I would do, like, I don't know if you remember spirographs. Yeah. 
yeah, did a lot of like spirographing. I did a lot of drawing, a lot of colored pencils. Never really did painting until I was an adult, funnily enough. Um, although I probably had paints, I might have done watercolors. Um, but so my life, my childhood, like creativity and art was my friend because yeah. there was not a lot of affection at home and then at school I was being bullied all the time and then and I was you know I wasn't even there anyway so my first 10 years of my life was mainly me doing like creative stuff um, right. so there probably should be more kind of like sketchbooks and things at home which I should probably see if I can find um and really you know creativity and an arty stuff in a way if I look back it really did get me through the first 10 years of my life it was it was in a sense it was what I uh, it really was what I escaped to it really was where where I went to kind of like get some affirmation I was a very um well I, I, back then I would say I was painfully shy incredibly my leaf's just fallen off where's it gone well, there it's gone. Um, I was painfully shy. Um, and if I look back now, I realise that I was actually very withdrawn. Had, yeah. had I been in school today, they definitely would have put me, like they would have um, connected me with cams and all of that. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah. But back then, nobody cared. <laughs> um, and even like when when my mum didn't send me to school because of her kind of like mental health issues, which again, undiagnosed, nobody would even say that was, you know, a thing. Uh, all these things were very much undiagnosed. Uh, she very often wouldn't send me because she wouldn't get up. And at right. seven years old, when you're being bullied um, as much as I was, you know, all my life, there's a spider in this bag. Uh, Okay, I'm okay. I'm okay with spiders, Angela. Chill out. I do spiders all the time. <laughs> Breathe. <laughs> Just let it go somewhere else. It's in the bag, which would probably mean it will end up in my room. But that's okay, because, yeah, it's not a huge spider. You never know. Sometimes I'm like, oh, my goodness, what if they're the ones that bite you? But hopefully not. Um, well, we don't have that such in this country to the extent it does in other countries. So I think oh, we're quite good respect. Sorry. Um, yeah, where was I? Uh, you were saying about yeah, being so, at home and everything, yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know what I was saying. Ah, no. <laughs> you were saying about creativity was something which you had yeah. for like, not, you know, quite a few of your years growing up and you didn't always get to go to school when you were bullied quite a lot with sort of um, at school when you were there and stuff. Yeah. Um, so yes, yeah, so I guess that creativity was my refuge. And like I said, yes, I was quite, I was very withdrawn, very withdrawn. And if, and if I look back now, I realize that that was because um, you, ne you never realize things at the time, do you? But when you look back, you're like, oh, wow, that's what was going on. So in the sense I was rejected, I was neglected. And I was, <laughs> I was very much thrown on the, the rubbish heap. And, and that's why one of my taglines of my art is, treasure in the rubbish because it's very much I feel like that's my my story um so that kind of happened oh and my favorite teacher the the year I remember the most and and potentially it's the year I went to school the most in junior school I'm not entirely sure if that's true but potentially it is uh was a lady called Mrs Millichorus and she was an artist and I guess I connected with her she was a Polish lady a very tall Polish uh, teacher and um, we did loads of art stuff in her class and I remember doing spirographs and and something we've kind of like um, thread as well which I don't remember the name of it it was a bit like spirograph but it was with thread um, so I enjoyed doing yeah. that as well I, mean, I did the same it was kind of like with the nails yeah and yeah yeah you did the kind of um, drawings with the the Kind of thread around the nail and create that shape, yeah. yeah, something like that, yeah. Um, 
So I have fond memories of that teacher, but not really any of the others. Um, and what was I going to say? Yeah, so this continued all the way through. Um, <laughs> it's so not sticky. Ah! Um, <laughs> it's to the point where I probably can't put any orange peel in because it's just going to fall off. But you know, you could just try it and I might put something over it later, like clean it on to make it flatten it. I don't know. But I'm just having fun here. Um, it's great. Yeah, yeah. But anyway. Um, yeah, so this carried on through um, June school and thankfully, and, and I was, you know, I was very much kind of reflecting today as I'm writing this story, uh, my own kind of life story, um, that I, the time that I went to the girl guys that I ended up going back to the Catholic church that I ended up kind of like being involved in the Methodist church through my grand's church uh, was around the time that my life started to really like pick up and to get better. Um, so when I went to high school, they put me in the next to bottom class. And what I realized a few years ago is that they basically thought I had some sort of special needs. Because you were behind on you. Because I was so behind. Like yeah, they thought yeah. I was a dunce. I think they used to sit me in the corner and like, because, I was so behind with everything. Oh, um, it's horrible. Treat, yeah, I wasn't treated. The, the, the old children weren't treated the best at school back then. Um, okay, I quite like that. We're going to carry on with this because this is uh, what's going to happen now. Is though that the uh, the leaves are going to peel off the uh, the orange peel? But I like the way that that into. Sure. This is my patterny side that I love to do. Um, a different kind of orange peel, see if that's a bit thicker, a bit softer. Uh, yeah, so anyway, so I, I guess I kind of got to high school and I was like, well, what am I doing here? I never consciously thought, oh, what am I doing here? But something must have switched inside of me, either that or God was like, I'm going to give you the grace to get out of this position that you're in because you're not, you're not meant to be here. Not that anybody's meant to, but you know what I mean, like, I didn't have special needs. I was. I you just had never, in, in education that had stopped you from being able to have the education that you needed. And exactly, deserved. yeah, exactly. And I never, I just never had the opportunities because I'd never been to school. I mean, I wonder how many, how much that is the case with many people. If I'm honest, but anyway, who who don't necessarily have any special needs, but because, but anyway, back then, you know, that's that's the way it was. Um, and so by the end of the second year, no, by the end of the first year, oh, it might even have been the first term or something. Mm -hmm. um, sorry, someone sent me a message about this session tonight. I was in the top class. I'd worked my way up to the top class um, by the end of the first year. And, you know, I was just reflecting today, and this isn't meant to be a Christian, this is my art page, this is not, but I cannot, you know, it was none of my own. I mean, okay, I worked hard, um, but to be able to cram 10 years of schooling into a first year, which is effectively what I did, that yeah. was the grace, of, that was totally the grace of God. Like, only Jesus got me to a place where I was able to, and then by the second year, it's like I'd never missed any schooling. I just had continued. Amazing. That's just amazing, isn't it? Just it is. It's incredible. And I've been able to encourage other people that have been not full to their own, sort of disadvantaged due to circumstance, that there's a way of kind of pressing through and seeing hope and getting forward and making something of oneself and doing just being oneself and get and finding that really. I think that's a message for anyone, isn't it? Just yeah, we all need that. So I think I, re I realized I realized as I was writing today, oh dear, my orange peel stuff. So stop falling off. Um, I realized today that gosh, I have a have a quite a, quite that that's quite a testimony. Yes, it um, is. Yeah, which I hadn't. I don't think I'd realized to the extent until to until I. It's incredible, isn't it? Until you write your story down, you don't realize wow. 
what you've been through. And I have to say, it kind of got to the point where I kind of shed a tear for that little girl for what she went through because... Cleo, you mean the one that... that uh, Cleo. Do you mean, who do you mean, sorry? Me, the little oh, girl. the little girl, yeah, of course, yeah. Yeah, the little girl in the story. <laughs> yes, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's good. I've never heard you say that before. So, so I've never heard you talk about that part of growing up before. So it's very interesting. No, neither had Reggie. <laughs> um, I'm just going to go. We'll be back. Carry on. I just have yeah. to just get some water on these a second. Carry on. When you oh, when you get back. Uh. <laughs> Uh, so here we go with the orange peel, everyone out there. I don't know. We've got one person, but maybe if there's people that watch this on YouTube later, this might inspire you to, uh, to try some collage. I really hope so. Because um, whether it goes well or not, this is just about playing and having to go and being creative. Um, and being in my studio. Just having fun. What we'll need to do, see these, some of these things are just not sticking. And yet yeah, this glue is sticking to my hands like no one's business. I'm back. Cool. Oh, I don't know why I was putting more leaves on. Oh, but there's another leaf that needs to go there. Um, so the last bit of this story is that, um, so, I mean, I, you know, in, in lots of ways, and, and I think, so the beginning of me going to high school, again, was kind of like, um, in con was in conjunction with when I kind of like joined the church. And then um, at 13, and I guess, again, I was reflecting today and I only realized this today. I think the reason why it happened when I was 13 is because I was transitioning from puberty to, to, being, a, to being a woman or to being a yeah. And I had a, well, again, if this happened now, I would have been under CAMS, I would have been the psychiatrist, I would have been under all sorts of things, but because it was the 90s, I was, nothing happened. They just left me to be at home. I think I was off for between three and six months. Um, why, the, why were you off, sorry? Sorry? Why were you off, sorry? I was just having a breakdown. Nice. I had a, and I only realised, because I looked back at my behaviour, as an adult, I looked back at my behaviour, and this is only like, I don't know, a few years ago I realised, um, it was a breakdown. So, um, I got to the point where I would be very, very scared of going out and very, very scared of um, being sick. Like when I went in the car, I think I was a little bit car sick. So, but not like sick as in sick, as in sick as in I felt a bit sick. And I was really scared about that. And I just, I just blew it into this huge out of proportion thing to the point where I would be very irrational and I would hang on to the door frame because I was so scared about going to school. Like I was so scared about being sick on the way to school that I would be ill in school or I don't even know where my brain was at, but I was like, right. I, was a, I was a mess. And then, so I didn't go to school for a, a long time. And, and I, I think that was the conjunction. I had really bad migraines as well around that time. So I think I had really bad migraines and I was like I had to do, having this thing where I just couldn't go out the house and I couldn't go to school and... Yeah. Uh, and to the point where they thought people at school thought I had HIV, they thought I was pregnant. <laughs> there was all sorts of stories flying around. Oh, wow. wow. That's quite intense, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And again, I um I just came out of it. I don't even know how I came out of it. I think it was around the time again I was like starting to go to church. Um and I think, you know, that's what brought me out of it. I can't pinpoint anything in particular. I remember having some spiritual encounters when I was the year after. Um, but but yeah, so I mean, that was definitely a real thing with my mental health at that age. Wow. Um, 
it's a lot to deal with though. I mean, if you were like a teenager at that point, so it's a lot to deal with, isn't it? Uh, well, I think what it was, it was years of being bullied that had just kind of like crept up on me. And, and, and I was thinking today, I was like, I think it all came to the surface because God wanted to heal it. Yeah. Um, and although it came out in a, in a whoosh and in completely like irrationality, mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I got over it. I, managed, I did my GCSEs and my attendance was shocking all the way through schools, all the way through school, all the way through A-levels. I did what I call flexi time. And I don't even know why, but my form tutor completely lied about my attendance and said I was doing having... 85% attendance and I look back and I'm like there's no way um I'd only just become Christian and maybe I should have said to him don't lie for me but I was like well if you want to you want to bend the truth slightly did he, then uh, did, he did he kind of understand a little bit what you were going through did he kind of know a little bit and kind of maybe felt no. kind of compassion on you I just wonder that's why I wondered sorry my husband is completely distracting me Reggie Oh, yeah. Hello, Richie. We're on Facebook. Hi, Joy. We're on Facebook. Yeah, I can see that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Wow, that's it's okay. quite a story, and it just shows you how much you've had to go through with that, and like just overcoming it, and just how much like when people go through that kind of thing, it doesn't have to be the end of the story, does it? You know exactly. And and that now there's more help to kind of you know gradually get out of that situation and and realize that there that one has the potential to do one's dreams a bit more isn't it so absolutely and if i look at the girl the young girl of seven and i look who i am now like nobody would imagine that i was so withdrawn and so quiet and so <laughs> true <laughs> would they um but it's true that was me but i don't think it was i don't think it was me i think it was it was a shadow of me yeah of course um, but it's still part of what you've gone through and it gives you an insight to sympathize with other people and what they've gone through and you yeah. know we've all you know and even through the pandemic a lot of people suffered in different ways people's education kids yeah. have come suffered in this and all kinds of ways that we don't know the full impact yet and they'll need lots of support I think you know to yeah. get through this yeah. years as well so yeah. right wow so we've actually gone past 15 minutes I thought that I'd um yeah but can we see what you've been doing me I, I've been doing my brushes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Very I've important. Been, I've been literally doing surgery on my brushes. So that are now, there's only one that's kind of, there's an issue with that I, I think might not be retrievable. But um, so I've just been like working this stuff through because it was easier so I could concentrate on what you were saying. Oh, um, but I am that. doing a Christmas card. So um, we've got the stuff on. <laughs> Ooh, that's exciting look forward to seeing that yes well in the next hey. 24 hours we'll show on that one yeah so um <laughs> how it turns whether my idea works or not so we'll see i um, was hoping to to do some new ones this year but i did do five last year so yeah it's fair enough yeah but we'll mm. see i did plan to and actually there is a canvas somewhere where i put three ideas together to do one that's like for family um, lovely but I started it last year, but maybe I could continue it this year. We'll see. So obviously, uh, like, are you going to plug this weekend? Oh, yes. Good point. So both of us are on oh, the... Yeah, you're going to have to remind me of the Christian, the Christmas Christian Arts and Crafts Fair. I think it's Christian Christmas, but either way, it's fine. <laughs> Christian Christmas Arts and Crafts Fair. <laughs> So yeah. you'll be able to find a link on my page, on my Angela page, on my Art Antics page, on several pages. And I'm selling my Christmas cards. Yeah. Which uh, is brilliant. There we go. 
uh, that I'm taking orders for next week because um, I've had some orders in already. So I'm taking some orders for more next week. Uh, well, Brilliant. to be set out next. Yeah, anyway. Um, my, um, you can order prints, you can order merchandise. So last year I sold jigsaw puzzles and cup mugs. Um, and basically anything that you want my paintings on is possible. So do let me know. Um, we, I'll be showing various examples of that over the next four weeks because the fair is on every weekend um, until the end of November. Who knows? Sometimes they extend it into December, but we'll see how things go. Slightly um, that as well. I think it is, but that you can check it. Yeah. Yeah. I'll also be the, my prints will be available as well. Um, yeah. And so, Joy, do you want to tell us what you're going to be selling? Um, well, this is your thing. So <laughs> I was just promoting you. Is it sort of it was a good segue into that because I knew you were selling those and the fact that we were talking about Christmas cards. So, um, but yeah, I'm I'm going to be selling. Um, I've got prints, original paintings. Um, I've got um, magnets coming out as well, and hopefully a Christmas cards. So we'll see. And I've got other like greeting cards that come out in the future, but um, it depends whether I get them out in this time. It may be in the new year, but that's fine. So, but the main thing is we've got new magnets, the um, high quality ceramic um, magnets. So fridge magnets, they're beautiful. So um, yeah, we'll see. Um, but you know, it's, you just do what you can, don't you, each year? <laughs> yeah, you do, there's only so much you can do. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, so it'll be good for everyone just seeing what people, because there's lots of different people on there selling different things. So there's lots of different gifts on there. And so I've always said to people, you know, check it out because you don't have to like my work to sort of suddenly find something on there that actually might still be suitable. No, exactly. You, when you're thinking about gifts at this time of year and thinking yeah. about preparing for Christmas. So, yeah, so, yeah. Lots of, yeah, lots of different variety of different stalls yeah. and stuff. So do 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 check it out. Um, I am also I'm personally I'm in an exhibition in Skemsdale in two weeks time. I'm dropping off the paintings tomorrow morning. I keep forgetting. And then in a month's time, I'm in a craft fair in Skemsdale as well. Um, so if you're from this area, please come and uh, check it out. I'll be, but obviously I'll be jumping on lives every all, all time as I have been doing tonight. <laughs> Maybe put a couple of links in the comments yep. of this on Facebook so people can look at it. I will put some links in. Um, so, wonderful. Thank you so much, a Joy, for, for joining us uh, tonight. Anyone else that's been uh, watching too, thank you for joining us. Uh, this will be going on uh, my YouTube channel. So for anybody who has missed um, tonight, they'll be able to see it on, uh, on our YouTube channel. Um, and I'm trying to decide whether we're going to do more collage next week or potato, potato prints is coming out soon. So when I can get some potatoes, we're going to do some potato prints. Um, Great idea. Following the theme of, you know, just playing and enjoying ourselves. That's what it's, what it's all about. What it's all about. Um, and if you want to see some like actual kind of painting of pictures, then the lives in the week, that's when that will be happening. But this, these ones are more about just kind of like playing and having a go because I want to have it accessible to anybody and everybody. Sounds um, great. So thank you, Joy, for joining us. And Garth was with us a little bit earlier. Appreciate, um, appreciate you. And um, I shall see you, everybody. I will be back on the day of today, Thursday. I'll be back next Tuesday uh, around the same time, 5.30ish uh, with a live. I'll put the details on my pages and everything. Um, great. Well, see hope you enjoyed this and see you very soon. Good night. God bless. Take care. Bye. Bye.